<laughs> oh well, the constellation of benefits you just mentioned makes sense, or when you look at KeyBank. How about doing something more interesting? Let's talk about the KeyBank's new personal loan. You have a massive loan, maximum loan amount two hundred fifty thousand dollars. FICO starts at five fifty, and the APR starts at five point forty nine. Don't go anywhere. You're gonna love today's conversation. I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Security Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you're all doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous. If you are to ask me, if you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to speak to you about the Key Bank's new massive personal loan that uh, with a maximum loan amount of two hundred fifty thousand dollars and the FICO that can go as low as five fifty and the APR that starts at five point forty nine. Let's first talk about the loan types. So when you talk about key loan, not key loan, key banks loans, you have um, a bevy of loans. And we love the fact that this is a bank that is constantly expanding its portfolio of loans. So you have, uh, as you can see on the screen, when you go to the personal loans uh, web page, you can see that their loan starts at $5,000 and there's no annual fee and money can be available as soon as the same day. This is really good because when you think about big banks usually takes time for key bank you have key bank personal loan that's the number one credit product you have uh, the key bank preferred credit line let me answer your question big decision time do you currently have a need for a credit line a lot of credit in other words you have money just sitting in the bank that you can access when you when you need it if the answer is yes then you might want to try the key bank preferred credit line here the only thing is there's a $50 annual fee, but it's still doable. And uh, the line ranges from $2,000 to $25,000. We also have the key bank secure, the personal loan. That's the third credit product. Here you have fixed rate and same day approval. And the minimum is $5,000. Obviously the loan is collateralized. So, so the loan can go as high as you want, depending upon the, the value of the underlying assets. And we also have the key basic credit line. And basically here, this is a revolving unsecured credit line used for overdraft protection. Okay. So you can borrow up to your credit limit to repay then borrow again as needed. And the amount will oscillate from $250,000 to $5,000. One thing I want to say quickly here is that obviously in today's conversation, we are speaking about the key bank personal loan, right? But I'm just giving you all those accounts because all those products, because in case you don't get qualified for the key bank personal loan, you can always try the key bank preferred credit line or the key bank secure personal loan or the key basic credit line. Let me give you a few details about this loan. Folks, we are still having a conversation today about a massive new personal loan from a key bank. Maximum loan amount two hundred fifty thousand dollars. FICO five fifty, and the APR starts around five point five point five zero. Okay, and uh, so I want to dig a little deeper here because the key bank personal loan is interesting for various reasons. First of all, the uh, maximum loan amount is very high, which is fantastic. Now, don't get me, don't get me wrong. I'm not sitting here telling you that you will qualify for a quarter of a million loan from key bank with a FICO or five fifty. No. But the potential is there. So if you are around 550 or 575 or 600, you probably get a, around 50K or 75K or in some cases, 100K. It's all about trying, right? It's all about having the right relationship with keeping. I'll speak at length about that later on. So it's very important. So, and uh, for us, we think it's a lot better to go to a key bank, brick and mortar, local branch, sit down with a loan rep and have a conversation. That way you can get all the info. This video is a great start. You want to get, you want to gather as much intel as possible. But when you go to the branch, you'll have more intel. One thing I want to see here is that the interest rate on this loan is a fixed. Okay. The minimum loan amount, 
$5,000 and the maximum $250,000. The terms up to 84 months, that's seven years. That's wonderful. And there are flexible payment options and there is no origination fee. There is no collateral needed. This is a pure, it's a purely unsecured key bank personal loan and you can, you can manage everything online banking. So these are things you need to think about in terms of opportunities here. Let me ask you a question. Big decision time. Do you currently have a need for a loan? If yes, do you currently bank with KeyBank? Do you have an account with them or two accounts or three accounts? If yes, this could be a great opportunity for you. You know why? Because not only do you get approved ASAP within the same day, you get funded within 24 to 48 hours. You can use the money for nearly everything. You can use the, the cash for debt consolidation, unexpected expenses, including medical bills and car repairs, or major life events like weddings or dream vacations. So it's it to totally your call. And for us, after analyzing uh, this loan, what we really find interesting is the fact that not only will KeyBank accept low FICOs, but they will also release the funds within the same day. This is something that usually doesn't happen, especially with an amount as high as $250,000. So we really uh, give them kudos for that. Let me talk to you about eligibility criteria, folks. We are still having a conversation today about KeyBank's new personal loan, which has a, a massive limit, loan limits that's $250,000. You can qualify even if you have a FICO as low as five fifty. And the cool thing here is, is that the APR starts around 5.49% and uh, the maturity of the loan goes all the way to seven years. So to apply for it, there's a wonderful opportunity for a uh, key bank. You need to be at least 18, 18 years of age or older. The FICO, as you said, it is a 550 minimum. Your DTI must be 38% maximum. Let's talk about DTI. DTI is your debt to income ratio. Okay. So basically, to debt to income ratio means that you're taking your debt, how much money you are making every month, that's your income, that's the denominator of the fraction, and you take uh, how much you spend on, for, from that, so much, how much you spend on debt servicing, that's the numerator of the fraction. So let's give you a very simple example. Let's say you're making $10,000 every month. That's gross income. The DTI amount is always uh, takes into account a gross revenue, gross revenue account, gross revenue amounts. So let's say you're making 10 grand, right? Making 10 grand and you're spending $4,000 or let's just $3,000 on debt servicing. That's only to pay your credit card debt, your car loan, your mortgage, whatever loan that you have outstanding. In that case, 3,000 divided by uh, 10,000, that'll be 30%, right? So your DTI will be 30%. For a lender, this is very important. Whether the lender is a credit union or a traditional bank or even an alternative lender or an online lender, the, the DTI remains a key criterion. So for, for key bank, the maximum is 38%. So if you want to qualify for the loan, the loan you really want to keep the DTI as low as possible. Your income must be $24,000 gross per year. That's the minimum. And you need to agree to provide additional personal and business information if applicable, such as tax returns and financial statements. And uh, KeyBank also wants you to certify that all the information submitted in the application is true and correct. Don't take this lightly. It's very important for them that, you, that because if something happens, if you lie on an application, something happens, they can actually turn around and sue and sue you. Okay. And uh, you need to authorize the bank and or a credit bureau to investigate the information on the application. So very important, especially when we go to six digits, when you are applying for a larger amount, let's say 100 grand or $150,000, they might want more assurances from you. Let's talk about the credit score. Now, I've said earlier, folks, that we are still having a conversation about KeyBank's new personal loan, massive loan amount, massive loan limit of $250,000. The FICO is 550, the APR 5.49%. 5, 5 uh, that's the start, that's the minimum. And uh, the maturity is kind of high, 84 years. Now, I'm not saying you need to go with, uh, you need to go with uh, the seven years because if you have a longer maturity, this could have consequences on your credit history, but also on your liquidity strategy. 
let's talk about the credit score because you need to have a credit score you need to think about the credit score here 550 is the way it is now i'm not saying again that you will qualify for a larger amount with a low credit but one thing you need to do if you really want to uh as a boost your chances try to improve your score because a higher score means a low apr not just for a key bank but for all the loans that you'll get you're gonna have to apply for in your lifetime and uh, if you want to boost your approval odds think about for example securing the loan right the loan I'm talking to you about is an unsecured loan okay but what about if you feel like you can boost your chances of uh, getting the loan then secure it you want to pledge collateral okay what about looking for a co-borrower or a co-signer big decision time let me ask you a question big decision time do you currently have a co-borrower or a co-signer? Do you have someone who has a better credit than you that you can, whom you can trust? Because it's not just about you know looking around and looking for it. a co-signer or a co-borrower. This is a big decision. The person you the person you pick to co-sign along with you is very very important. So you can't take that decision lightly. So if you have someone, if you have like a backup plan, just in case you can't qualify for the loan on your, cell, on your own, then you can go back and ask that person to have a, to, you know, kind of help you out. You also want to check your credit score. Okay. We say 550. You might be sitting there and thinking, Hey, listen, I probably have 570 or 580. Question is, do you know? Talk to me. Talk to me. Do you know your credit score? You probably have an idea. You probably have a, an approximate idea. But do you, do you know for sure what your credit score is? Not just in one credit bureau, but all the three. What is experience saying about you? What is Equifax saying about you? What is TransUnion saying about you? Talk to me. Do you have an idea of all the components that make up a FICO? This is very important because if you're going to apply for a large loan with KeyBank, you really want to know the all the components. There are five of them that make up the FI, your FICO score. Your, you have the credit mix, your outstanding debt, the length of credit history, your credit mix, and recent inquiries. Knowing those uh, elements will help you have a better grasp of uh, your FICO score, which in turn will help you get the loan you need with the terms you need. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. folks to another session of the awesome sort kiwi show we are actually having a conversation today about key bank's new personal loan that has a massive limit massive uh, maximum massive maximum limit this is uh, a quarter of a million and we have uh, the FICO score can go as low as uh, 550 we love that the APR starts around 5.49 5.40 5.50 we love that too that's percentage of course and one thing you want to do here is that to boost your chances of approval, you want to reach out to a key bank loan rep. Don't just do things online. Technology is kind of cool for certain things. But when it comes to credit, unless the bank itself has told you to go online and do everything online, it's always better, especially for traditional banks, to go to a branch if you can. You want to contact a loan rep. Have a conversation with a loan rep. You want to, you want to gather as much intel as possible. Okay, because the last thing you want is you don't want to start applying for something and realize, oh, wow, I wish I had that info. You know, you don't want that. Nobody wants to have a sorry ass after the the application uh, button. The the application button is a hit online. No, you want to ask the rep if a soft pull is possible. Okay, because again, the whole thing here is you are trying to cover your butt by uh, limiting the number of hard pull on your credit, right? So ask if a soft pull is soft pull is possible. Ask about loan policies, and guess what? Before you go to the conversation at the branch, please you want to bring all your paperwork. Make sure this is this is uh, well organized so you can have a fruitful conversation with uh, with the rep. Bring your 1040. Why not? Bring your tax returns. You want to bring your 1040. If you have a company and you're making some money on the side and you want to you want to add that sort of. Uh, data piece of data into the equation into the credit decision making process bring it on your 1065 your 1120 your 1120 c 1120s whatever it is bring your financial statements your personal financial statements 
I'm not asking you to become a CPA or have a PhD in accounting. I'm asking you to use whatever free tool you have out there, whatever free budgeting tool you have out there to calculate your balance sheet, to create a balance sheet. A balance sheet, you, so, you also call it a statement of financial position or a statement of financial condition. You can use the same tool to create a an income statement. In other words, a profit and loss where you list your uh, your income and your expenses and also a statement of cash flows. If you want to boost your chances, folks, because we are, if you want to boost your chances of approval, we're still having a conversation about this loan, this massive personal loan, new personal loan from KeyBank, maximum loan amount to $250,000, minimum FICO 550, and um, a maturity that goes all the way to seven years. If you want to increase your chances of approval, you, you're going to have to do me a favor. You want to create a KeyBank relationship. Yeah, I know. Anytime I say this, people are like, people are like, oh, wow. You know, we're just sitting here having a conversation about credit, and this guy is just telling us to open an account. To he's just telling us about uh, <laughs> opening a checking account. Well, guess what, my friend? Guess what? This is not bullshit, not at all. People who are telling this is bullshit to have a checking account and savings account in a credit decision, they don't know how the basic credit decision works. If you want to increase your chances of getting uh, this loan, especially if you have a, a poor or fair credit credit score, you want to boost your profile with other things. At the end of the day, guess what? Lenders care about your liquidity. They care, they care about what kind of cash you have in the account. Even if you have a poor credit, they care about your net worth. So you want to boost your relationship with KeyBank. There are a few ways, few ways you can do this. You can open one checking account so you can see their checking products on the screen right now. Okay, so they have the key smart checking, the key advantage, the key privilege, the key privilege select, or the hassle free. Make a decision there. And uh, let me ask you a question big decision time, big decision time. Do you need a, do you know that KeyBank has a great array of checking account services? They sure did, they sure do. For example, they have automatic savings with Easy Up. You can order checks if you if you so want. You have overdraft protection. You can set up ACH payment. You can set up direct deposit. You can have ATM banking. You can activate your new card ASAP. And you also want to think about besides a checking account, you can think about savings accounts. So you have the key active silver account, the key silver money market savings account. You have the key gold money market savings account. You have the health savings account, the HSA, and they even have the key for kids savings account. We love that, the key for kids. They also have the Easy Up. The Easy Up is a great profile, it's a great product rather that uh, KeyBank has that allows you to automatically save. You can also uh, sign up for a CD, a certificate of deposit. So you have um, key short term CD accounts, you have key tiered CD accounts. And then you have a key jumbo CD accounts. Those are intended for balances of one hundred thousand dollars and greater. So what I'm trying to show, what I'm trying to tell you here is that KeyBank has a constellation of products that is just fantastic for you. That constellation is great for you. Take advantage of that as you are still trying to get the loan, that loan that you need from KeyBank. Show them that you can actually, you also have some cash sitting underneath you. Let's talk about other loans. So obviously I've been talking to you about, again folks, just to contextualize, this whole convo was about a key bank's new personal loan with a massive loan amount, $250,000, that's the limit. And a key bank will be glad to have you if you have a FICO that goes as low as 550. The APR will be around 5.49, that's the, that's the start, that's the floor. And loan maturity, seven years. If you don't qualify for that personal loan or for any reason you want to check out all other loans that they have, I want to acquaint you with uh, the KeyBank Home Improvement Loan. This is a great fixed rate, no collateral loan for home updates and repairs, okay? Whether it's a new roof, let's say uh, replacing the furnace or that dream kitchen, for example, a KeyBank Home Improvement Loan can actually give you the cash you need, okay? 
and uh, they also offer vehicle loans so you can finance all your vehicle needs when you're buying a car bike boat let's say a rv the cool thing here is that keybank can actually accompany you they also provide auto and motorcycle loans let me ask you a question do you want to finance the the purchase of a new or used automobile or motorcycle let's say you want to refinance one that you already have but guess what you want to go with a bank as solid as key bank see the, the the whole thing here is that people usually believe that and this is this is a myth because we've done the research and we know people usually believe that traditional banks always have higher aprs they might have more stringent requirements but if you check them out for real you will realize that most of the time they do have reasonable aprs so you can get a good a good area of uh, aprs with uh key bank when it comes to their auto and motorcycle loans and also boat and rv loans for example and they also offer student loan refinancing okay so you can lighten your loans with uh, key bank and laurel road actually key bank bought over they bought laurel road not long ago so this is really good and last but not the least and i want to mention that also is that Keeping has financial hardship assistance programs, and this is uh, this is help there. They, this is a program that, or a catalog of programs that provide help for Keeping clients experiencing financial hardship. So if you're struggling to make your payments, you just want to know. You just want to know that Keeping is there to help you. They'll listen to you. They'll talk to you. They'll uh, walk you through your options, and that's wonderful. <music> All right, folks, thank you so much for your attention. So in today's conversation, I was just talking to you about the Key Bank's new personal loan, maximum loan amount, a quarter of a million, FICO 550. One thing I want to say here is that please make sure whether you apply online or apply at a branch, make sure you get your paperwork together, your tax returns, your bank statements, your W-2s, your 1099s, whatever evidential matter you need to have before going to the branch. Please have those and you can apply online at a branch or over the phone. Here is a recap here, folks. I gave you uh, an overview of the loan types. I gave you uh, the personal loan details, the eligibility criteria, the credit score requirements, the, why you need some key bank guidance, the key bank relationship, the MPR, very important, the multi-product relationship, and the other loans that key, uh, key bank has. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. I will see you next time. But until then, remember, stay Marvelous.